students i welcome you all into my channel hope you are all doing well and hope you have started uh, your preparation for your upcoming examinations as you already know exams are very near now i think this is the right time to give the important questions and passing packages for your core subjects so today i have taken your subject that is turbo machines its subject code is uh, bme502 so here is the passing package for you guys let me discuss here module wise one by one right so here is the module one in which uh, you have to go through so the super important questions like uh, define a turbo machine with a neat sketch explain the parts of a turbo machine and compare a turbo machine and a positive displacement machine this may be seven marks or eight marks question and next one we have define specific speed of pump and uh, derive an expression for the same that is a derived expression for the specific speed right in terms of discharge speed and head and define static and stagnation states for a fill bed and starting from the first law derived expression for the work output of a turbo machine so these are some uh, theoretical questions from this particular model and next we have the model prototype problems suppose uh, i have taken here the example and definitely you should go through it and you can leave the second part problems as these problems are very simpler ones and i can also show you the notes uh, which i used at that particular time when i was in the fifth semester so i will show you the interface of the notes over here right so these are the model prototype problems uh, i have written only the solutions in my notes right so you can go through previous year question papers which i will upload over there on my instagram account also you will find out uh, what data i have taken out from the questions right so these are very simpler ones you cannot simply neglect you can easily get 10 marks from these type of problems right so this much is the solution for these and i have taken some uh, seven to eight problems so go through only these seven problems definitely we will ask one among them right so i hope you will go through it so don't worry for the notes later on i will provide it in my description box so listen to me carefully what i am telling you that uh, from the first model itself we can go through only one part okay in the next part we have these uh, theoretical questions like define static and stagnation states and uh, this one derive an expression for the work put of a turbo machine okay this is again in the second part you can go through only one part with the particular problem that is model prototype problems okay or sometimes they may intermix the questions as uh, you are the new batch to write uh, this particular subject actually it was the subject in the 18th scheme now you are in the 22 scheme you are the first batch to write this particular subject so maybe there will be the intermixing of questions so that is why i have taken these uh, theoretical questions from second part also otherwise you will have the choice to opt only one part over there so this is the problem that is model prototype uh, problems a turbine model of one is to 10 develops two kilowatt under a head of six meter at 500 rpm and find the power developed by the prototype under a head of 40 and also find the speed of the prototype and its uh, specific speed assume the turbine efficiency is to remain same so i will provide the question papers on my instagram account also so that you can practice varieties of problems on these particular bases next we have defined the following with the help of hs diagram for power absorbing and power generating machine that is total to total efficiency total to static efficiency static to total efficiency and static to static efficiency so these are uh, important over here next we have model second uh, in which uh, you have to cover some super important questions definitely we will ask these 10 10 marks question that is uh, with the neat sketch uh, derive an expression for euler's turbine uh, derive alternate form of euler's turbine equation and and explain the significance of each energy component and next we have defined utilization factor and degree of reaction also derive the relation between utilization factor and degree of reaction so these may be 10 marks question next we have another derivation that is show that for maximum utilization of axial flow turbine with reaction 1 by 4 the speed uh, ratio given by u by v1 is equal to uh, 2 by 3 cos of alpha 1 where u is the blade blade speed and v1 inlet absolute velocity and alpha 1 is the nozzle angle next we have with necessary velocity triangles and assumption derive the expression for effect of blade discharge angle on energy transfer and degree of reaction for radial flow machines and you can also go for the numericals as i already mentioned uh, that i will provide the previous year papers so that you can go through the questions what it is asking in the examination so it is possible to pass uh, this particular subject by only theoretical portion but uh, you cannot take the risk my dear friends 
maybe they will ask some more numerical portion so better to go for the numericals so better to go for the numerical portion and the questions which i already discussed that is the theoretical questions you should surely go through right next we have model third define steam turbine list the difference between impulse and reaction steam turbines and next we have what is the necessity for compounding steam turbines name the different compounding methods and uh, define and explain nozzle efficiency and stage efficiency prove that the maximum blade efficiency of a reaction turbine is given by uh, nita b max is equal to 2 cos square alpha 1 divided by 1 plus cos square alpha 1 and draw the inlet and exit velocity triangle for a single stage impulse steam turbine and prove that maximum blade efficiency is given by uh, nbx sorry nb max is equal to cos square alpha 1 it's actually it is not n it is nita b max or eta whatever you call it so assume v r1 is equal to r2 and beta 1 is equal to beta 2 so these are the five important questions from the model third and you can go through also numericals if convenient next we have model four derive an expression for force power and efficiency of a belt and turbine assuming no frictional losses with the help of velocity triangles next possibility is this uh, draw the cross-sectional views of a culpan turbine and explain its working with the neat sketches of velocity triangles at inlet and outlet of culpan turbine runner and derive an expression for work done by belt and wheel this is again a super important question uh, with necessary uh, velocity triangles so work done by belt and wheel with necessary velocity triangles and explain the working of Francis turbine with help of sectional uh, arrangement uh, diagram uh, sorry sectional arrangement diagram draw the velocity triangles of Francis turbine and explain the function of draft tubes and with neat sketch explain the application of draft tubes this becomes the uh, five marks question over here okay so you should not neglect this it is again an important one next we have explain volumetric efficiency hydraulic efficiency mechanical efficiency and overall efficiency so these are all theoretical questions and derivation part and as far as numericals are concerned whatever the derivations you will do in the above part you will automatically you will be able to solve some numericals also okay so that is better to go for the derivation and corresponding problems or numericals next we have module fifth derive an expression for minimum speed of starting a centrifugal pump so this is again 10 marks question derive the expression for pressure rise in the centrifugal pump this may be seven or six marks question and explain the working principle of centrifugal compressor with neat sketch and define the following for the centrifugal pump that is manometric head suction head net positive suction head and delivery head and static head these are two two marks uh, definitions which you should go through and next we have explained with the neat sketch multi-stage uh, centrifugal pump arrangement explain different casings used in centrifugal pump right with the refer with reference to centrifugal air compressor explain the following that is choking surging slip factor pressure coefficient and slip coefficient and what are the types of diffuser used in centrifugal compressor right so these are all super important questions so make sure you will cover these so these questions should be at your utmost priority later on you can go through the numerical part there are a lot of derivations in this subject my dear friends so better to go for these derivations whatever i mentioned in this video it is very hectic to remember all the derivations so these becomes your super important derivations and some theoretical portions i hope you will cover it very soon and you will pass the subject in the first attempt itself so my best wishes are with you so study hard keep focusing and stay motivated thank you so much see you in the next video that is your tom passing package thank you